Hey, I'm meteorologist Paul Gulley here to talk about avalanches. Now you're seeing and hearing a lot more about avalanches this winter. They're happening every winter, but let's talk about why they're happening and trapping people. Because typically, if you find a slope or a mountain that's too steep, you're not going to find big avalanches there because it is too steep to hold that snow. So what you have is small and frequent avalanches because the area cannot sustain that. We're talking about slopes perhaps uh, 75 degrees or steeper. Now, on the opposite, you get a slope that's perhaps uh, more gentler than 20 degrees or even flatter. It's well too shallow to provoke that slide or doesn't have gravity really affecting it. So whatever snow falls here actually just piles up. It's uh, too stable to slide away. Now, the reason why you hear more people being caught in avalanches every year is because the avalanches occur in that kind of play zone it slopes with an angle of 25 to 60 degrees. That's where people like to ski. That's where people like to snowmobile and even do mountain climbing. So that's the danger zone and that's the zone where we always have snow piling up and it's not just uh, snowflake or storm after storm layering up. We have uh, time between that storm where you might have maybe a frost layer in between the two uh, layers of snow and each layer continues to build on the other. Now, as long as everything is nice and fine, nothing's breaking that layer, gravity will hold it in place or friction will hold it in place. But then you have something like a skier or a snowboarder or a snowmobiler, and typically more than 90% of the time, the person who is trapped in an avalanche either triggers it or perhaps someone in the party triggers it. So again, that certain that that angle here is that perfect angle to have layer after layer build up. And then you have some trigger that will eventually overcome that friction. And when that happens, well, that snowpack starts to slide and causes an avalanche. And if someone is not found within the first couple of minutes of that slide being buried, well, the survivability rate goes down dramatically once you get past the five to 10 minute range. So again, that's avalanches and we're hearing more about it because we're seeing more and more people enjoying that kind of play zone up in the mountains.